Hey everyone, if you are also getting this error in your Logic App project or in your Azure function project in Visual Studio Code, then you are at the right place. Today in this video, I'll show you how do you fix this generate debug symbol error in your Visual Studio Code. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you are watching Be A Learner. So first of all, this error is because there is a DLL which your Logic App project is looking for to generate the symbol. What does it mean is that, let's say if I would like to debug your project and if I put a breakpoint here, it says it cannot generate the, or it cannot found the those breakpoints. So if I, let's say here, if I put a breakpoint, then it, it will say, no, it cannot find those breakpoints. Now, to how do I fix that? To fix it, I, now, why do I get this error? If you look at the error again, so it's trying to find this URL on your C user location. So if I go to the location, which has been specified here, which is this one, I do not have that debug symbol DLL. Uh, which is under Microsoft Azure Workflow. There is no Microsoft Azure Workflow DLL and that is the reason it is failing. So what we should do is we should go back to the Azure function extension bundle workflow location and you'll see that I have multiple version of the same workflow extension. So and it's your current execution as your function execution is trying to load the dll in the latest version of this particular folder which is 2.19 as you will see in this error it's trying to find under the 2.19.0 and this doesn't have that dl so what you do is you simply delete this and check what is the other available which is next available latest version do you have the same dll which your Visual Studio code is trying to load in this folders bin directory or not. Now, if I look at the code, which is Microsoft Azure function, azure.workflow dot build debug symbol generator DLL, it is present here. So that's it. I do not need to do anything because now this time if I run the Visual Studio code project, it will take that version as in latest version and it there you it will find the DLN and it should run successfully. Let me rerun again. This time, as you can see, it is trying to find the DLL from 1.2.19 instead of the other previous folder. And this time it has successfully generated the symbol. So we have resolved the error. That's it. And this is working fine perfectly fine our workflow has started running on the default port which is 7074 with the debug symbol loaded i hope you have found this useful if it is give it a thumbs up thanks for watching it